Immigration is the hot-button issue dominating the race for the White House. A lot of debate centers around illegal immigrants tied to violent crime. So tonight, we are separating fact from fiction with a team investigation. Investigators Jace Larson and Robert Arnold reveal how many convicted criminals are deported and then come right back to the United States and why some arrested immigrants are actually released with our government's blessing. Gentlemen. It is the place no mother wants to visit her son. It still makes me feel close. Julie Golvach can't take care of her son the way she used to, so this is what she does now. Somebody came out to visit him, left this little pick here, so I was clean it off and put it right back where they had left it. Spencer Golvach's grave is still fresh, and so is the memory of his murder eight months ago. The talented musician had just dropped off his girlfriend. He kissed her goodbye. This uh, illegal alien drove up and decided to just shoot him. At this light in northwest Houston, a man who had been deported numerous times killed Spencer. He um, actually never had seen it coming. He was uh, shot right here at the ear. Victor Reyes murdered another man that night before police killed him in a shootout. I hope you will never ever know or anyone else will know um, what it's like to know that your child, your only child, your baby, that you loved before they were even born, died alone out on the streets of Houston. Reyes is one of thousands of deportees who the federal government can't seem to keep out of the United States. Even ICE isn't sure how many times he snuck back. Stats on repeat deportees are hard to come by, but this federal report gives us a snapshot. In 2013, the federal government prosecuted about 18,000 repeat deportees. They're usually Hispanic men in their 30s. Two-thirds have relatives here and half of them have children. On average, they've been sent back three times and have four prior criminal convictions. The real killers are our government. Spencer's family members are not the only ones angry about illegal immigration. Texas sheriffs are telling us something called the Priority Enforcement Program is making this problem worse. And this is something that... Uh we're extremely concerned about and have been for some time. Jackson County Sheriff A.J. Louderback says he and other sheriffs are worried this program creates a system where some illegal immigrants may be allowed to stay in the U.S. even if they've committed a crime. So we have a system that's completely gutted the immigration system for, con for criminal aliens in this country. He showed me this memo stating deportation efforts should focus on illegal who've committed serious or repeat crimes are a threat to national or border security or those who've recently snuck into the U.S. But the memo also gives agents discretion. They're told to consider things like community ties, length of time in the U.S., or if they have a seriously ill relative. Sean Moran is vice president of the National Border Patrol Union. This is flat out a bad program. This does nothing to strengthen the border. Moran and sheriffs are also concerned that some illegal immigrants charge charged with crimes are getting released on bond. Local jails used to hold these people until the feds could pick them up, but some recent court rulings have found that unconstitutional. So where is that inmate going to wind up? He's going he's to remain in the United States. That's as frustrating to, uh, to me as it is to the, the general public. Republican Congressman Ted Poe says addressing concerns about immigration policy is Congress's responsibility. In the next year, do you think we'll see a solution? I don't see it on the horizon. I don't. Why? Like, I don't. I can't answer that question. That is not a good answer for Spencer's parents. I'm not prepared to give up another child so somebody from another country can come here to, to make a nicer life for themselves. Spencer mattered. Even if he didn't matter to an illegal alien on the street, he mattered to me. Well, that program that we just told you about there was announced by the federal government in November. And for the last month, we've been asking the federal government for some specific numbers as to how all of this is being implemented. We have yet to receive a response. Bill, Dominique.